what's going on welcome back if i can get it to stop raining maybe that sun will start beaming a little more we can do a little test drive on this 1968 impala this thing's really nice um it's got a 307 on it really clean under the engine here you see that fender's nice and shiny some of the old wiring's got a little bit of overspray on them looks like they cleaned everything up though it's far as the fenders and the motors motors been repainted and what we're going to do is test drive this car down the road point out any kind of flaws so you know what you're buying before you get here if you're new to the channel go ahead and hit subscribe we post videos of classic cars all the time look at the back of this one it's pretty sweet i like how it swooshes down and towards the end of the video we're going to be pointing out any kind of chip scratches rust any issues if i see bondo i'll point it out that's why we're here doing this video so you know exactly what you're getting check us out maplemotors.com we post new cars every monday we also have 100 detailed pictures of this ride that ride that ride that ride all of them on the lot and if it's still available i'll leave it on my webpage. if it's not available already sold i'll go ahead and put it on there if a sales pitted i'll let you know we did update every day daily So we're gonna do a review on this car. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Still buzzing too. Nice carpet, nice seats. Got my gear, got my chamois in case it just starts raining again. Back it straight. Huge. You could lay down up there. This car is in good shape. The headliner looks great. The light's new up there too. Start her up. I didn't touch the gas. It has been started up and moved over here about 20 minutes ago. Go ahead, place your bets. Do you think the horn works? The tilt works. Notice it is not hot. It's been off. But that light is flashing and malfunctioning. Washer, wiper, washer. Ah, the squirters are not working. Radio, we'll give her a second. See if she cuts on. Blower motor, don't turn it on hot, put it on cold. AC's not gonna work, I don't believe. Blower motor is nice and strong. No AC, I don't think there was a compressor under the hood. Should have double checked, I don't remember actually seeing that. Quarter tank, 39,000 miles is what it's showing. It's a 68 model, it's hard to prove mileage without paperwork. This thing is in such good condition. Horn, come on. I thought for sure the horn would work on this one. All right. Let's take it down the road, see how it runs and drives. Okay. I'm hot and sweaty. Well, probably just rained on it. It rained on me all afternoon. It's raining again. Not heavy, just sprinkling. We're going to go out and try to get these shots. I mean, I know this car has seen rain before. It's nice and clean. I've done washed it off four times a day, but we're going to take off down the road. Anything that I see, I will let you know. We know the hot switch is bad. It was on when it was cold. It was even flashing when it was cold. It's not running hot. We've already driven this car quite a bit, and I've had it running right now for at least 15, 20 minutes and checked the motor. It is cool. So, oh, when you rev it up, it's not hot anymore. <laughs> at least the light cuts off. So we're going to roll out of here. And hopefully it don't start downpouring. That would suck. But you know, it might be the first video that I just do a downpour video, you know? See how she drives. Steering's nice and tight. As soon as I turn, it turns. seem to have a little bit of a pull to the left. See, it's kind of going over the side of the road there. Let's 
get on these brakes. Woo <laughs> I hit them pretty hard. That's funny. Make sure I'm in drive here. again i'm just gonna get ease into them this time instead of just slamming down on them they're stopping good getting down is not hooked up on this one. Oh yeah it is get down is hooked up on this one i just didn't hit it in the sweet spot speedometer seems to be correct i hear the turn signal clicking but the lights out on the dash And that clicker's slow. On both sides of the dash, the light is out. Sometimes you can pop that clock and it'll start working too. So far, so good. This one's running good. Gas gauge is floating around, so I believe it's working right at quarter tank. Um, I'm gonna get these outside shots. Let's go ahead and do this. Look below in the description. You can see uh, my Amazon links to the gear that I use. And I'm actually getting ready to set up an Amazon link for a CD if you want it. It's uh, one of me and my bands. I've got a bunch of them. I ordered a bunch of them the other day. So i got to set it up to where I can uh, easily get everybody's information and send these out. But for now, we're going to go ahead and get some undercarriage shots, do some drive-by shots, and make this happen. Let's do it. Okay, I just did the walk around video. It's gonna pop up towards the end of this video. I used to do them separate, but I have come to find it's a lot easier putting them in one. It's easier for the customer and it's easier for me to make a video. Luckily it held out long enough for me to do it. It looks like we're gonna be driving into some rain, so hopefully we can get ahead. The only thing I've seen that's wrong, the hot light is needs to go. That is not hot, I can set my head and, on the valve cover. And it just flashes whether you start it up first thing or driving it around. So. Wanted to try the horns again because it was hooked up under the hood. I kind of wiggled the connections. I'm wondering if it's not hooked up behind the steering wheel. Very good throttle response.
Oh yeah, we beat the fire out of that rain. It's over there on the hills. Speed bumps coming back. I don't know if y'all heard. I guess the heat's making it expand. Check it out. This thing's nice and smooth though. So right here, you can hear it. I know you heard it in the video. I was kind of excited when I noticed that the other day. I'm telling you, I'm just gonna get one, throw it in the trunk, throw the speed bump out, and run over. <laughs> All right, we're back at the car lot. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit subscribe. I've got plenty more to come. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later. Okay, let's walk around this car, point out any chips, flaws, any scratches, anything I see. That way you know exactly what you're getting before you get here. We do this with all the cars on the lot. And you can see the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. So we have kind of picked up a little bit of dirt on the test drive. Like I said, it's been raining all day. I got lucky to even get this one in. Road's a little wet out there. You can see some stuff on the bottom. But I can look through that. I can still see flaws. So we're gonna go down, get down on the lower portion, look around. See what we can find. Let's get started. On the front bumper here, looks like it can be polished out. If you get some chrome polish on there, that kind of streak hazy look is coming off. The bottom there's got a lot of bugs. A lot of bugs. There's a couple of bugs on the front end. Some pitting on your uh, headlight bezels. Overspray on the grill. Let's go down this lower portion. Good tires on this one. It's got some dry rot on the edges, but they still got a lot of tread. See a little bit of thick paint there on the corner. Coming up over the fender. Trim looks good. Solid there, just splashed up. There's a little bubble here inside the door and at the bottom of it. Coming on down, there's a little bubble there as well. Get a little spot here in the corner. Coming up under the fender. This back spot right here is a little thick on paint. <clears throat> There's a chip right there. Coming on down the mid section. Nice and smooth. Yellow is a little bit darker on this panel than the door. If you look at the difference, they may have painted this door or this back end. Door handle's in good shape. Paint's in good shape on this car, really. Nice and straight. Windshield looks good on this side. I see a light scratch right there. Real small. All the trims nice and clean. The roof looks awesome. Got a little spot there. It's not perfect, but not bad. Got some touch up marks there. Go ahead and check this trunk out. See right away that they've touched up right around here and they have sprayed overspray on that. I bet you they sprayed the trunk. Probably painted it. Probably had some a uh, little bit of surface rust popping up. The reason I say that is you see this water coming down on the edge here. It's got a little bit of a leak. If that sits in there for too long, it literally just instantly rust and it'll start doing that until you wipe it out, clean it up, and repaint it. The trunk itself looks solid, looks good, smooth. There it is. Let's look on this side. Look it up in your package tray, it looks good. Jams. Got some chips in this corner, but they're looking pretty good. Trunk is huge. Mega trunk. Hold on, I can't see the keys. I always have to find the keys before I shut the trunk. Imagine calling Pops. 
man, I locked the keys in the trunk. And then we got to go through like four canisters of like spare keys. <laughs> All right. Looking at the back here, looks pretty good. Nice clean chrome. I like the exhaust kicked out the back. They got it pretty even. Let's go down this lower portion here. Paint's a little thin on the corner there. Coming on up. Lots of dirt from the test drive. That's why I don't like test driving in the rain right there. Clean these cars up. Take them out one time and over. Bus bubble popping up under the paint there. Paint is thin. Again, right here. Down at the bottom as well. There's a nice chip. Got some chips down here. Up here in the front. Dirty, but solid. Coming up over. Overspray again on the corner of that bumper. Coming back this midsection. This side, it's the same. Little bug up there. A little blotch here. It's a little bit discolored. And in the corner there, it's a little bit discolored as well. And over the trunk lid itself. It's really in good shape. Back window, same thing. Nice and clean. Hey, thanks. All right. Front windshield, a little, uh, that's not a scratch, that's silicone. Silicone. Trim looks good. Door handle's got a little bit of pitting on it, not much. Mirrors look good. Top of that fender. Looking good. All right, let's jump on the interior, get her started up, and head on back to the lot. Door panel on this looks great. Weather strippings been replaced. Bottom of the door. Jams. A little overspray again. Carpet looks new. Back seat is in awesome shape along with that package tray and headliner. Oh, looking fresh. Even the seat here, the edges are great. They don't look bad at all. I'm still tripping that that horn don't work. We'll get her started. I'll see if it's plugged up. All right. Again, starts right up, no gas. But that light is wrong. She's not hot. Okay. She was hot. I would not be able to touch that at all. Tell you what. The horns are there and they're hooked up. Could be behind the steering wheel, in the, in the buttons on the steering wheel as well. Very quiet motor. Let's see about how she uh, shuts down. Yeah, there's no AC compressor it does have uh the box over there but no compressor coming down with the hood i mean i'm barely pushing on it she shuts good lines up pretty good too the back's a little high but a lot of times you gotta push down on the hinges just a tad huh
All right, let's hit the road. We have got, uh, yeah, let's go. I appreciate you watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I usually put the walk arounds right here at the end, so it gets kind of confusing. But uh, I'll have some more videos out this week. I got a lot to do, so I'm going to get started. Let's get back to the lot. I appreciate you watching. Hit subscribe, share this video, and hit like. MapleMotors.com has finance and shipping, detailed pictures, and all of our inventory. I'll see you in the next video. Later, guys. All right, we got Angelo here. Came all the way from California. And uh, he's been giving me some gear. He's got hats and shirts and Stunts Unlimited. Check this hat out. I really like it. Fitted. Nice and clean. Check him out. Retired from the movie studios as a transportation driver. Worked at all the studios. Worked on a lot of movies. Met a lot of movie stars. And I have a ton of stories. But I'm a car guy. I currently have a 70 Z28 Camaro. Completely restored. Numbers matching. And at 350, it's pushing about 500 horsepower. Cool, man. All right. I appreciate you stopping by Maple Motors. Thank you very much. And thanks for the gear he's going to be sending us, too. Okay. Have a good one, man. All right.